Hey, what's going on, loves? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka. So I'm going to bring you an energy update for today. I'm going to do it a little different this time. I'm going to start with my wisdom tarot. Okay, so don't forget, flip these rolls as you see fit. Take only what you need and you leave the rest. Please use the spirit of discernment as you are viewing this video. Okay, if you want a personal reading, definitely reach out to me. I keep the link in the detail box below. Please follow me over on um, Instagram tiktok and that's it y'all okay i hope you subscribe too and hit the like button while you're at it thank you so much um you guys uh please use the spirit of discernment okay now let me set my attention before i get started thank you holy spirit thank you my angelic guys for helping me with this reading protect us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will thank you for using me as the messenger and so it is Okay, so what I'm saying here, I got a queen of swords, seven of swords. Woo, give me something else here. So somebody is setting some type of boundaries here. Energy is energy, y'all. So you place it how you see fit. You know who plays what in your story, I don't. So what I'm getting here is that somebody is setting some show enough boundaries, okay, for themselves. Now, hmm. You could be releasing a situation or you may have ended something with some someone because they're lying, all right, or because they're manipulating or hiding something. Whatever it is, it's like I do feel like you may have cut them off or energetically cut them off or you're thinking about cutting them off. But it's like with this Queen of Swords, when usually um, they will set a healthy boundary, but they will definitely allow you to kind of still come back in. Okay. So <laughs> it's like, okay, you know what? I got to get you out of my space, but I will listen to you, what you have to say. Okay. So, um, for the most part here with this seven of swords coming up, of course, you see this guy is running away with the swords. Like he stole something, right? And don't, don't nobody see what's happening. Okay. So take caution. For the most part just take caution here make sure you're being honest with yourself as well because it's definitely some type of secrets it's something hidden and i see this knight coming in this knight of swords coming in rushing in all right so that could be masculine energy coming in or you know flip the roles but somebody is coming in and it's like they're coming in on a mission it's like they're almost coming in here to to um <sighs> you know how when you have a challenge and this is what it is because of that and because you're cutting them off and you're setting this boundary it's because it's like a response to the challenge it's like one of these things like okay i gotta get motivated i gotta get driven here and i gotta come forward here and they're coming with great speed y'all that's all i'm saying so be um on a lookout because this is going to be sudden or it's going to be unexpected okay so let me see tell me about this queen of swords here Yeah, so in order for things to get better, all right, I'm hearing also divine intervention may have taken place within your situation. But in order for the um, the will to turn and things to get better and for you to be able to reach your milestones, your achievements, your goals, whatever that is, it requires you to set these healthy boundaries for yourself. Um, you had to cut this person off or you have to, okay, because it's getting bad, right? This is, this is, you don't want someone in your life here who isn't being honest um, with you or even with themselves. You got to always kind of be on guard here. So that's what I'm seeing. It's like, you may have decided, you know what? I'm going through these transformations here. Um, let me change things up a bit. If not, this is a part of your trans transformation is what I'm hearing. And in order for things to get better, you have to cut this person off. Okay. Um, this is why they're going to be rushing back in. But that's usually how it happens. It's like when you cut somebody off, it gives them the opportunity to reflect, right? They go through their um, whatever tower moments they go through and they start to do the self-evaluation and they judge their own actions. And then it's like, bam. Okay, I think I see and I understand, right? So tell me what the Seven of Swords is about. And of course, you do have free will. So, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to do a looking thing. But <laughs> whatever happened here, Five of Swords in the reverse position. So there was some type of falling out, whether it was with you or whether it was, um, Somebody else in your life could have had this falling out with somebody else, right? You know how it go, right? Um, shoot. 
we always tend to pick up everybody's energy who actually plays a role in our story. So um, overall, it's like you want to be able to move forward here. And I feel like this person does too without being hindered from whatever happened in the past. It's just one of those things like, okay, I'm ready to move past this. I can't anymore. But the thing is, is that whatever happened within that argument, right? When this is upright, you see how sh Shorty just like got the knobs and um, swords in her hand and everybody walking away. Hurt, head down, swords and fell. They didn't lost because <laughs> whatever was said, it was toxic. It was hard. Okay. Um, I'm definitely hearing it, it's, it's one of those things where it's like the bridge is burnt. Like you can't turn back from that. Right. But somebody is holding on to those words is what I'm saying with the four pentacles. And it's causing some anxiety. Okay. And it has something to do with a certain process or being committed to something. Okay, so somebody could be, ooh, could have said some words about being committed or about a commitment or committing to something here in your life or in their life. Tell me about that. What was the uh, commitment about? Tell me about the higher part. Ooh, it's definitely with a karmic connection or situation, the devil. Okay, so whatever was said was definitely said out of ego is what I'm hearing. Thank you. What's the secret? It's causing nine of swords in an upright position. It's causing someone to actually really have some bad negative thoughts about it or losing sleep about it and all. Ace of cups in a reverse position. So what I'm saying is somebody definitely took back their, their cup of love. It's like, I got to withdraw this offer, right? And it's causing some type of anxiety for someone, okay? So, mm, tell me more. It feels almost like, you know how you don't want to have to do certain things, but you got to do it because it's just a, it's, it's an injustice. Yeah, Knight of Wands in the upright position with the um, Eight of Swords coming in the reverse position. So, with this masculine energy, what I'm seeing is like, they're trying to find some type of solution here. Or even if it's not about the solution, it's like, I got to face my fears. I got to face the truth about the situation so I can get clear in my mind about it because I do have some goals. And of course, there's challenges. And those challenges at one point may have kept you or this person feeling restricted as hell. Okay? Their hands felt like they were tied because it's like you can't really do anything about the situation because I'm hearing obligation. Tell me about this night of swords. So somebody is choosing an intellectual response to this challenge instead of emotional is what I'm seeing. Yep, eight of swords come out again. Tell me more. Whether this is you or someone else in your life, again, feeling very restricted and very trapped by this situation. Okay, so... Mm -mm. Yep, decisions are being made, basically. Hey, one is in the reverse. Whatever has taken place here, someone has definitely changed their perspective about the whole situation, okay? And you or your person here could have been lying to you or being dishonest with you about some things. But what I'm seeing is like a falling out may have taken place. I don't feel like this major falling out was with you. I feel like it was with whoever your person here is in their karmic situation or person that they they they're connected to okay but overall what i'm seeing is like you guys could have had a falling out too i'm definitely hearing that i feel like it's just like a falling out on all ends <laughs> okay it's like everybody just everybody saying some words to each other all right and this right here is causing someone to change their perspective, okay? So with the temperance card coming out, again, there's a balance being brought into the situation here because, again, someone is deciding to choose a different approach to doing this, okay? It caused some delays with the Eight of Wands in the reverse, most definitely, or some type of stagnations or misunderstandings. Um, but however, I'm definitely feeling like somebody is more focused and more driven now. To, to do something differently here, to try some type of different approach. Show me more. Tell me more. 
Yeah, coming in King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles here with the sun in the reverse is definitely not happy. <laughs> mm -mm. It's because they want to be able to offer something here. And of course, this whole situation is really blocking them in their happiness at this time is what I'm seeing. But it's all stemming down to what? This one person's dishonesty. Okay. What was tell me about the bird? Why why is this bird? What's happening here? I keep seeing this bird and I'm trying to move past the bird on this picture, but something keeps standing out about this bird. So yeah, third party situation. Ooh. 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 So what I see here, this is what it's about third party situation um you could be coming in as this queen of pentacles that's earth sign energy you don't have to be okay the lovers okay so this definitely could have been an intimate um connection somebody you got a strong bond with um twin flame energy comes from that card for me marriage all types of stuff right but it's like some type of decision has to be made next i got a fire sign okay with this queen of wands in an upright position and what i'm seeing is with this third party situation here three of cups right there next to the nine of cups here okay <laughs> in the ten of pentacles wow all right so and what i'm saying here is that you two could have both been this person's lover okay or you could have two lovers however right and it's like you know how you get in your wish fulfillment Okay, everything is everything is like good because you're getting everything you want, right? So that's what I'm saying. You're able to celebrate. You got both people that you love in your life. Everything's gravy. You're focusing on building your legacy. You're like, okay, I got, I can, you know, I can move some things around. I'm working on my money. I'm working on this. I'm working on that. And even if this is a situation here with this other person where it it may not have been, you know. It could have been like things that came out of a business, family, children, whatever, right? And it's like all of a sudden, some stuff, you know how things start to catch up with you? The dishonesty and the lies. Okay, show me more. I feel like some secrets coming out. Ooh, eight of swords. Yep. Your person here is definitely feeling restricted by this situation altogether, right? Because again, as you can see... Somebody's working on some stuff and I'm hearing long-term goals, okay? Yes, and look, the Queen of Wands. So whoever it is, is feeling restricted here or hands tied or clouded in their judgment, whatever about or feeling trapped about what's happening with this Queen of Wands, okay? That's five sign energy once again. Tell me it doesn't have to be, but they could just be some very spicy folk, okay? <laughs> so... Let me do that again. I got the four of wands in the reverse. Um, what I'm seeing here is that somebody is no longer supporting something within that connection. Show me what I need to see. But instead of actually really saying it, yep, page of wands comes out in the reverse. Instead of actually really saying it or communicating it, not really sure how to put it into action. Okay, it's like, so instead of, you know, boom, going right in, this is what it is. They're operating here in the seven of swords energy. They're not being honest. And I definitely feel like they are losing their peace of mind or their personal freedom because of this. Okay. So, mm. so I don't know if you are the queen of wands or if you are this queen of pentacles. Earth sign energy, fire sign energy don't have to be. It could be anywhere in your dang old chart, but you know. Okay. So, <laughs> you will know but the six of cups and the reverse is here and the reason why nothing is being said is because of the fact that you know how when you just can't seem to move on because of things that may have taken place in the past it may have hurt you okay or may have caused you some type of grief you may be focusing on loss right and this is what you with this person is doing pretty much stuck in the past and unable to move forward and really communicate fully here so instead it's like you operate in this manipulative energy, right? Try to spare people's feelings. Show me more. Yep, four cups. Mm-hmm, ten of wands. Ten of swords, I'm sorry, y'all. Definitely hurt. Deep wounds is what I'm saying. This stuff runs deep. 
but I'm hearing it's like even though this stuff is going on somebody is still being called and pulled towards what makes them happy right it's like I got this situation here going on but I'm still being called and pulled towards what makes me happy, right? I got this four cups coming out in the reverse position, but there's still so much hurt. And instead of really operating here in, in um, what it is that you value most or standing on your own values here, it's like, hmm. I gotta do it sneakily. I gotta have one foot in, one foot out type energy. Yep, and it's causing conflict. Five of Wands in an upright position. It's causing conflict. It's, it's, it's setting up a competitive environment, right? And this is here, I'm feeling a sense of someone feeling hopeless with the star card in the reverse, all right? So, but this masculine energy is now feeling really determined here to move with some type of great speed over this situation and why. Because at first they couldn't make a decision. It was hard. So it was one of these things here. I'm also hearing that they may have to. Yep. Yeah. In order for them to be able to get this new beginning. The full card. Face a lot of truth is what I'm saying. After all this time. Reason why they weren't able to take that leap of faith. <clears throat> five of cups in an upright position. Steady focusing on the loss. The grief. The hurt. The pain. Right? Of the past. Whatever situation that they may have gotten themselves into even now, right? With this other person. Seven of Swords, which ends up doing what? Same energy. You lie, you sneak, you deceptive. Got that one foot in, one foot out energy, right? Instead of really just trusting the universe here and, and it's like, okay, you're safe, you're safe, right? <laughs> You're fine. There's nothing going to happen to you. The worst is behind you is doing things in a deceptive manner. Um, and what I'm hearing is that it's a lot of loss. This, you or your person here may be experiencing something that has set them back. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, just, just, just came to me. It's like the only way that they know how to win is to do things in this manner to be manipulative this is like a, a um, unhealthy pattern or habit is what i'm hearing it's like in order for them to be able to achieve success or to to reach their goals it's like they so used to acting and operating here with the six of cups in the reverse in that same behavioral pattern to get it lying deceiving right Greed, selfishness, opportunist energy is what I'm hearing too as well. Mm -hmm. Nine of Pentacles. This is how they're able to really gain what, what they thought at one point. And because of those patterns, it's like in order to be able to get to where I'm trying to go with the Nine of Pentacles energy, which is self-sufficient, a straight self-sufficiency, um, having their money right, um, reaching their goals and all of that other stuff. I'm hearing a lot of material energy, right? Um, as far as materialistic things. Um, in order to get to that point here, it's like, I gotta do these, you know, I gotta do these things to get there. But now I'm feeling like, yeah, they're realizing here that in order for them to be able to get to this, the full, their new beginning, they have to be ready to take certain leaps of faith, which means leaving behind what no longer serves them, right? Awakening, choosing happiness, okay? So I'm gonna pull again from my um, Angel Wisdom Tarot deck. Tell me more about this. Tiny, <clears throat> tell me more about this. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Look, the lovers come out again. And it's, that's the decision. It's almost as if this um, person is coming in like, I'm going after my lover. I'm about to embrace this true love because it's deep. This is a very intimate friendship that you have with this person is what I'm hearing. But 
decisions are beginning to be made from the heart okay so whether you know your person here is setting up these healthy boundaries for themselves with that third party situation now or they may even have had boundaries up with you to a certain degree right but i definitely feel like you um if you are my feminine of my collective have have went into this energy now where you're starting to choose yourself you're starting to really focus on your career you're you're focusing on um you know your healing your growth and all okay but overall it's like mm -hmm, that's what's happening a choice is being made here show me about this tell me more about the lovers it's causing somebody a lot of fear <laughs> i'm talking about anxious about this what in the world yes two of wands because yeah once this stuff is made because this is long term is what i'm saying somebody is planning for the future this is long term that's why there's a lot of anxiety behind it i got the high priestess coming out with the strength card next to it so i'm definitely catching some you know your person here is catching these downloads and trying to find the strength now to be able to come forward to solidify it yep the world card <laughs> So that y'all can come together mm, and accomplish this. It's been a struggle between you and this person to do it. That's like cycle complete. Yep, because y'all been here and the two of cups reverse. As well as what I'm hearing is this other situation is also an imbalance. But like everything that's been taking place in your connection literally has to do with the fact of being this person literally stuck in the past okay they feel completely empty without you it's just like all right i'm gonna keep trying to go do other things connect with other people and move on or whatever you know because the ego is like not really fully accepting the fact that I love this person. <laughs> ego will tell you, oh, I'm not good enough, right? Or I don't deserve it, right? Because of everything that you may have done in your past or, you know, they may have done in their past. I'm just speaking. Um, but however, yeah, that's what I'm getting. It created a major imbalance between you two here. This is, and they're not really communicating it here with you at this point. Tell me as the energy stands now, what is this person coming in to do? coming in to do what is this person coming in to do <laughs> look lovers <laughs> they coming to get you the energy, energy stands now what is this person coming to do and what I'm seeing is they're coming to align with you yep king of cups they're coming in as a king of cups on top of that and what the card is saying is saying you know they're trustworthy this is someone you can completely trust okay the situation is safe and what they're coming to do is offer you something solid that's that and that's what i was saying it's like they're not communicating it it's hidden but they got well intentions behind it they're coming from their heart space is what i'm hearing So oh, here we go with the moon card. Yeah, all of these cards are really just reiterating everything else I said. It's like they're listening to their intuition at this time to really, you know, go about doing this. But they got to let go of their fears. They got to gain the strength to be able to move forward. So like that's the next step. But it's a lot of revelations that are being made clear at this time to this person in regards to this whole situation here. And of course, with the conflict coming out with the five of fire, a lot of this conflict is because of external factors, whoever it is in these third party in the third party situation, pretty much. They they oppose this. They don't want here, and I'm gonna right pull on that. They oppose this decision. They got a lot of um opinions about this person here moving on or you moving on here. Okay. And the best thing to do is to literally just walk away from the drama because it's not really worth it. It's not. They should literally just stand up for what they believe in and they keep moving forward here. But what they've been doing is because of habit and pattern and ego, really still entertaining this situation. Um, 
instead of standing up for themselves. Tell me about this. What's the opposing opinions? Yeah, they've been coming in as a king of swords in reverse. They get stuck. It's like they don't, they lack the structure. They don't, they can't use their head. It's just like all that reasoning just goes out the door. Or they either lack integrity or they either begin to be manipulative, right? So, what's the opposing opinions about it? What's the opposing opinions? Just seen the devil card ain't come out. What's the opposing opinion? So I got the two of wands. I was trying to get more cards to drop out so I can keep the story going. I seen that queen of wands again. So basically what's happening with that with that is when it comes to making these decisions here, mm -hmm, two of wands, what I'm seeing is like this person is totally against it. Knight of wands comes out and then the moon card right beside it. They're totally against it here. So they've been really causing some type of delays or, or causing things. It's like they've been purposely um, causing trouble is what I'm hearing to delay it. Why? Because now it's becoming a failed plan for them. Okay. So they're trying to keep here, your personal, keep you very hesitant to make any additional plans when it comes to the future, right? They don't want you to, to go forward because you're going forward without them. Basically, this is why they're opposing it, or or this is why they're opposing your person here. Okay, um, they they're trying to incite these illusions, is what I'm hearing. Yep, there you go, the Queen of Wands. So whoever the Queen of Wands is, is a fire sign energy, is trying to keep here your person restricted. Hmm. Tell me more about my collective person. Or what's the uh, my collective person's energy towards them? So where they felt disconnected and was holding on to these to the past and not really healing from their issues, they're now starting to see success. They're seeing the victory. It's like you guys are so close to a cycle closing out here um, in your story and even in their own particular story. So with the happy family in reverse and the heal of all ages here next to the victory card, that one is standing out the most. It's like you guys had a, a major disconnect. You may have had to set some type of boundary with this person, right? Because I, I'm, that's what I definitely keep hearing. You guys are, are healing. You're facing the mirror. They aren't. They weren't. But now they're starting to see, hey, wait a minute. I can actually achieve victory in this connection here. Thank you. Tell me about the victory card. Mm-hmm. Yep. Caused a lot of heartbreak from third party situations or just grief and all types of stuff that you may have had to experience. And it was a lack of cohesion between you two. Two um, Knight of Pentacles comes up. They're now ready to come in. And, and a lot of it may even felt as though it wasn't happening. Why? Because they're moving slow, right? They're taking their time. But I'm seeing here again, they're coming in as the Knight of Swords. They're still a Knight, okay? So but they're coming. <laughs> All right. They're driven. Yeah, strength card. They're now gaining the strength or the confidence here to be able to close that cycle so things can get better. Remember, they're knights, but they're coming. All right. They usually come in either really fast or really goddamn slow. And when they come in really fast, you got to be careful because sometimes they can be a little impulsive. But otherwise, yes, they want to be able to bring some type of balance and peace between you and them. Put the temperance card in the Queen of Pentacles coming back out. Okay, so 
Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. That's like someone is standing tall. That's what I see with that, like that tree. It's like an oak tree, standing tall and strong. Let me see here, number seven. Number five, my man. Yeah, this is like a large oak tree and um, this is it, it, what I see with this is it's like the power of love here. It's like through all of this stuff that you guys have been through, it's the power of love is what I just see. I see that stands out the most. It's like the power of love here that's shifting the dynamics of your story. Show me what I need to see here. Well, they say love is the highest vibration of all. That Seven of Swords energy comes out so heavy. Yep. Where it's been all this deception and disharmony and lies and people wearing masks and shit. The Temperance card comes out behind it. Balance is being brought to the situation. Justice. Wow. Mm -hmm. Balance is being brought to the situation. So the third party situation that you've, you've been found yourself in. Okay. Uh, 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 sorry, y'all. I'm getting a lot of tension. I'm like, what is happening here? Like my whole body's tensing up real quick. Mm hmm. So, um, hold on. I had to take a phone call. I don't even remember where I left off at, but. For the most part, it's some balance being brought to your um, your situation here, okay? So whatever was happening in that third-party decision, yes, they do want justice is what I'm seeing here with the Seven of Cups coming out in the Justice card, okay? So they want justice in some kind of form. Let's see what that's about. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Clarify the Seven of Cups for me, please. Oh. <laughs> They're going to put up a fight, basically. Tell me about the Justice card. Mm -hmm. They're trying to say everything is fine, okay? But they're not fine. And they're acting like, okay, I'm going to move forward. But really what they're doing is they're building up this resiliency here to keep fighting, okay, for this connection. Page of Wands comes out in the upright position. So at this point, they're willing to do anything, okay to get this to um to go in their favor so that could be what the hidden agenda is of this third party situation just came through okay so overall look staying tall is what i just heard as the oak tree staying tall staying firm stay diligent to what it is that you want yep the emperor do not fold you gotta go is requiring you to be disciplined, to be structured and all because this person's karmic is definitely getting ready to put up a fight. Okay, so mm, y'all already know what that looks like, but you know what you should be doing is pretty much keep focusing on yourself, keep focusing on your, your, your level up. That's it. It's about your evolution. You don't got to show up to every fight for real. It's not even worth it. Um, that's even what it came out here in the card. It says, walk away from the drama unless the situation is really worth your time. Okay, then stand up for yourself. But otherwise, they oppose your opinions. It's whatever. Okay, I'm still going to do what's best for me. All right, y'all. So thank you so much for tuning in. I definitely appreciate you guys. Love you. Peace.